The Trump administration is ramming forward a destructive agenda to sell off our public lands to oil and gas companies, effectively putting industry interests ahead of the will of the people of Colorado, as well as the preservation of our precious natural resources. This fossil fuel extraction agenda, it's just a real threat to our Western way of life, our Western culture and history, our economy, and yes, to the climate. Future oil and gas leasing could be incredibly harmful to Colorado's water resources. Fracking disproportionately negatively affects dry states, and for those of us that live here, we know that Colorado is a pretty dry state. This could also affect the groundwater, and therefore our drinking water, and transport these poisonous waters to other states as well. Scientists say oil and gas in Colorado contributes to an estimated 12% of the state's greenhouse gas emissions. Fossil fuels are the reason that so many counties in our state recently received an F on the American Lung Association's Healthy Air Index. The Trump administration has complicated the oil and gas leasing process, making the public effectively shut out. They have failed to consult with tribes, failed to consult with scientists, and have shortened comment periods so that people have less say about fossil fuel extraction on places right next to their homes. Colorado's booming outdoor industry, which is reliant on pristine and accessible public lands, rakes in over $9.7 billion in revenue each year. The places where fossil fuel infrastructure is operating on a 24-7 basis, recreationists can no longer access. On top of that, the unsightly effects of oil and gas can deter people from visiting once pristine places and even put them in harm's way. These places protect endangered species, real in recreation revenue, and are key to climate mitigation. During my childhood, I had very special opportunities to go whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Um, and having these memories um, is something that, you know, is very important to me. And being able to preserve these opportunities for future generations is something that, you know, motivates me to help protect Colorado, Colorado's public lands, um, so that, you know, my children and generations beyond me are able to enjoy, you know, the great outdoors as I had. It's time that we work together to defend our public lands to safeguard our community's clean air and clean water, protect our climate. Together, we can still make a difference. These reckless lease sales are happening across the country and they put already polluted areas under further stress and further destruction and they threaten the remaining clean ones. The climate crisis is, is so grave and serious. This is the time when we need to be protecting our lands for future generations and uh, these beautiful places in Colorado.